Hello again, as promised, uh, in this uh, video I will explain you how to upload files directly from an FX9 into an FTP server. The reason to do that is explained in the set to 80 video, so in this one I will only uh, explain the procedure. My first advice is to format the SD card inside of the, uh, of the camera, in order to avoid any incoherence between the file system in the camera and the file system in your workstation. I have already done that and you will see that I will need in my case to uh, upload a file into the SD card in order to uh, how to say to make the camera work the same language as the FTP because I'm going to use a Sony dedicated uh, cloud service uh, as an FTP uh, server. So the first uh, thing to do obviously is to set the proxy resolution there uh, obviously I can upload two kinds of two kinds of, uh, of files which are the proxy one and the uh, high-res one with high-res I'm referring to the full HD or the ultra HD files in this case what I'm going to do is to upload uh, also manually at the end of the video the uh, high-res file which is going to be the typical broadcast uh, file uh, 4 to 2 50 megabit per second which the FX9 also allows me to, to record not only X ABC format. So uh, the first thing, as, as told, was to configure the uh, the proxy quality. For that, I will go into the proxy rec file. Obviously, I want proxies to be recorded, so that's why I leave it in on. This is the proxy quality. I'm going to leave it at the maximum, 9 megabits per second at full HD. It can only allow me, in certain cases, to 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 broadcast that quality, but that is my personal opinion. We are watching vertical uh, smartphone recorded videos nowadays in the in the news, so everything is possible. And uh, channel one and two, okay. Now I go back, so the proxy recording is already configured. The next step is to connect the camera to the access point. Uh, in that case, firstly I need to select the, the camera to be in a station mode. Access point mode means, means that the camera is generating a Wi-Fi to which I connect, for instance, my smartphone so that the smartphone and the camera are connected peer-to-peer -peer to control the camera. But the station mode allows the camera to be connected to another access point, which in this case is my, my typical MiFi uh, device that I have here, so that the camera and other cameras and other smartphones can be connected to the same access point. And for instance, from a smartphone to see several cameras that are connected to the same access point. Um, also, as I have left it in a station mode, here is where I can configure the camera to be, con uh, to be controlled or not remotely from another device. I can scan the networks, so uh, this is the same as I would do with the smartphone. I have already done that so that I am connected to the Huawei 2.4G network so it's an, an easy step and the last step to of preparation is the file transfer remember that all this job should be done before shooting this sh my opinion is that this this shouldn't be done by the camera operator on field and now about the file transfer I can uh, upload a file, a, a, pro a proxy file, automatically, which means that I have the high-res file, I have the proxy file, and every time I generate both, the proxy file can be automatically uploaded to this uh, server, which is the default upload server. This can be the same server to which I am connected, if it is an RX1 or the XDCAM Air uh, platform, or any of those three profiles that I can configure. As an example, you can see here that I have the C Alvaro server, which is here. So I cannot edit the kind of protocol, so the service will be always FTP. You can see that I cannot jump into that uh, option. Uh, the display name is the nickname, so that it is more comprehensible than server number one, for instance. The host name, in this case, is a mnemonic address, but it could be an IP address that can be either public fixed the typical 88.83, whatever, or a local network uh, network address if I am in the same network as the server to which I want to upload the files. In that case, it would be the typical 192, 168, whatever, whatever. 
In this case, it's the ftp1.cmediacloud.com through the port number 21. You can edit that, but, but for FTP, it's typically the, the port number 21. This is my username and this is my password. Uh, passive mode to connect at any moment. Uh, I will leave it in on. Destination directory. I will upload it into a folder that I'm going to call fx9 and, and in order to avoid any confusion I'm going to remove the T for tests and it's going to be only F, uh, fx9 uh, just uh, in order to make you know this is what I have in my workspace let me refresh because I had another folder which was called fx 9 t and now you can see okay this one I'm going to trash it so that there is no, no trick and you can see that I have no folder called FX9. So this folder is going to be created by the camera when talking to the, to the server. But there is also another step. Well, using secure protocol, okay, so that it is encrypted. This is the step, root certificate. This certificate is a certification.pem file that I need to upload uh, via the SD card that I can find in the Z280 website. Uh, you can, uh, I hope that in the future it is available also in the FX9s, but as of today it's the same file and I need to download it from here. So I will plug my SD card, I will download the certification.zip, I agree the terms and conditions, okay. I'm going to store it into the SDHC, okay, save. It's a very small file, uncomprehensible for me, it's only characters, uh, but, but very, very few of them. And now it has been downloaded, I will show it in, in the folder, and now we'll, I will unzip it here. Because I need that file, that certification.pm, to be in the root folder of the SD card. So let me refresh it, okay, as the HC, and now you can see the certification.pm, I will delete the certification zip. Okay, now it's in the root folder. I will take it and I will say in the in this option in the camera root certificate load. Now it's not yet loaded. It is in the next step. When I say set, it will tell me okay, please insert the memory card containing that file. Okay, it is inserted. Okay, now certificate loaded. So now what I'm going to do is to shoot three little files. Uh, I have an Atomo Sumo over there, so if I point at the camera, you will see that it is in the in the FX9. So it will make my life easier to shoot three little files. One with the one. This is one. Another one will be the number two, and there is a number three. Okay. Now you can see in the upper side of the screen. Uh, three with a little arrow. This, me this means that uh, three files are in the queue to be uploaded. So that is why the, the arrow is pointing uh, up. If I go into the view job list, you can see that one of them has already been uh, uh, transferred, another one is being transferred, and the third one is waiting. So if I refresh my workspace screen you will see that a new folder has been created which is the fx9 that you can see here okay let me refresh it okay it it will show four items as of now which are the mp4 which is uh, well this one i think is the number one okay uh, one mp4 and it's corresponding um, xml or or metadata uh, information. This is the second one and the third one has been completed so now if I refresh another two files should appear here. Okay, you can see the third one which is the mp4. As you can see uh, the proxy files are mp4, they are not mxf because mxf is for the high res files and, uh, and also the, the name of the proxy file is the same as the high res file but with a little surname or ending in so3. So that will help you a lot, uh, to be known, uh, in order to do the typical philosophy that we recommend, which is uh, editing proxy, rendering high-res. 
Now the next step is uh, I will show you uh, how to do that manually from the camcorder. You can do it with either the high-res files or the proxy files. Since the proxy files have already been uploaded, I will do it with the uh, high-res files. For that, I will go in th into the thumbnail menu and you can see that I have my three files. If I press menu, I will go into the thumbnail menu and over there you could see that there is a transfer clip for proxy, which is what I have automatically uh, already done, or transfer clip. I can select clip, uh, select clip, or select all clips. If I select all clips, all the three files that I have shot will be uploaded. But it is obviously more effective if I only transfer the ones that are going to be used in the edition uh, stage. So I will select clips, and for instance I'm going to select this one, which is the, the second one, I think. And you can see in the upper side that if I press menu, then it will execute. I'm going to do that. Okay, menu, 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 for instance here. At the transfer job of the selected file, one item, yes, execute. And now if I go out of the thumbnail, okay, uh, of the thumbnail view, I can see in the network file transfer view job list menu that that file is being transferred as you can as you can see the number of the file is 1130012 with no so3 so it is the same as the one that corresponds to the uh, one to to this one so the moment it it is uploaded now you can see the arrow with the one the moment that it is uploaded it will automatically appear here in the same folder but it will be an a MXF file and there will be a instead of an XML a file for metadata I think it's a BIN so let's see if it ends now it has been completed so if I refresh my FTP here you will see that now I have eight files this is the high-res file this is an MXF as, as you can see it's 65 megabit while for the equivalent uh, mp4 the proxy was only four mega, me, megabyte sorry i was uh, talking about megabit it's megabyte and this is the bim uh, file for the metadata so this is the way to work with the proxy files i hope it's useful again and please use it because i think it's really powerful and this allows you to use the uh, xqd card as a backup instead of the main the, uh, main uh, storage system that you need to bring from point A to point B physically. You can transfer the, file, the files directly from the camera. So very useful, I think. Thank you.